1968, seven anti-war protesters uh, uh, representing three different anti-war groups organized a protest at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, where Hubert Humphrey was about to be uh, elected. It was meant to be a peaceful protest, but somehow devolved into a very violent, bloody clash with the police. After which those seven uh, leaders of the anti-war movement uh, were charged with a crime that no one before had ever been charged with and that no one since has ever been charged with, conspiracy to cross state lines in order to incite a riot. What followed was one of the craziest trials in American history. We've dealt with jury tampering, wiretapping, a defendant that was literally gagged. Get your hands off me. You are the first to suggest that I have discriminated against a black man. Then let the record show that I'm the second. This was a disaster for the American Republic, um, you know, where every, every citizen is meant to be valued equally. Um, a disaster that a man is in chains in an American court. That's not what the America was set up for. That's not the idea of a republic of free individuals. There's so many models in this film of different ways of, um, of speaking about something that's not well in society. Political activism that's beautiful that's eloquent and and uh, informed and witty and strategic. We can learn so much from these leaders. I mean, Chicago Seven suddenly could not be more uh, relevant. And 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 to me, I see Chicago Seven as a movie about the celebration of protest and dissent and activism. But it's also a story about how far we haven't come as a country. Uh, it's about police brutality. And it's, 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 it's about uh, this sort of endless struggle between the forces of oppression and the forces of freedom, um, which, which is only amplified now. Here I this is what revolution looks like, real revolution. We may have to hurt somebody's feelings. When we were filming in Chicago last October and we were marching down Michigan Avenue at Balbo Street, where the police riots happened in 1968. And it was already harrowing to be walking in, you know, in, in, that, in that place. And we were chanting, no justice, no peace. And we were chanting, the people united can never be defeated. And, and, then, and then in these last few months, hearing those chants in cities across this country and across the world. You know, Abby and Jerry would have been in Minneapolis. They would have been in Kenosha. They would have been in Atlanta. They'd be in Portland. They'd be in Hong Kong. You know, they, they, and so their belief that you can, even though it's a different forum, they didn't have social media, they believe that their energy could change the world. We thought the film was plenty relevant when we were making it last winter. We didn't need it to get more relevant, but in shocking and chilling ways, it has. When I watch CNN's coverage of the protesters clashing with police now, I look at it and think, you know, if you just degraded the color on that a little bit, it would look exactly like the footage we're using from 1968.